Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing this Show Chrome Accessories Isolation Fuse Block, which has been designed specifically to support the CAN bus electrical system on the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. At the end of this video, we're going to reveal a special promo code that you can use to save money on Show Chrome Accessories Isolation Fuse Block. When it comes time to add electrical accessories to your 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing, you're going to need an isolation fuse block. Because of the sophistication of the CAN bus electrical system, you can't simply tap into existing wires like you could on previous models or on other motorcycles. The 11 terminal tie-in points are electronically protected by 9 separate relays and fuses. The fuse box connects directly to the battery, so there's no need to make direct battery connections in the future. The bike's electrical system is protected by a 20 amp fuse and a separate 30 amp relay. This isolates all of your electrical accessories from the bike's electrical system. The three keyed power connections and two always on power connections are protected by 5 and 10 amp fuses. There are separate terminals for left and right turn signals, two running light terminals, and two brake light terminal blocks, all protected by relays for complete isolation. You should carefully follow the installation instructions that come with the isolation fuse block. Open the left and right saddlebag door, then lower the passenger footrests. Remove the side covers by pulling out from the center as shown here. Now, locate the heated seat connector in front of the right saddlebag. There's a tab at the top of the top half of the connector that you can press to release this connector. Here's the tab shown here. The seat is held in place with two 6mm Allen bolts located toward the front of the seat. Using a 6mm Allen socket or an Allen wrench, remove the bolt and the washer and set these aside. Lift up firmly on the very front corners of the seat to release the nylon pins from the grommets. Hold one hand under the front of the seat and with your other hand pull forward and then you can lift the seat out making sure the electrical connector is free. The fuse block can be located under the seat on top of the gas tank as shown here. Remove the negative battery terminal and loosen the bolt that holds the positive terminal just a few turns. Locate the red and green wires coming from the right side of the fuse block and route those wires down to the battery area underneath the frame. The red wire will be routed underneath the battery bracket and over to where the positive terminal on the battery is. You can cut off any excess wire. Make sure you have enough of the green wire to reach the negative battery terminal and trim off any excess. Using a pair of wire cutters, I'm going to trim an opening into one of the terminals provided in the kit. The reason I do this is because it's easier to slip over the positive terminal, making it unnecessary to remove the positive terminal bolt. We need to strip off the insulation from both of these wires, leaving about a quarter of an inch of bare wire exposed. This wire stripper from Vice Grip is the best one I've ever found, and I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. Now we can install the terminal connector over the red wire, the one that I cut the notch in earlier. And using a crimping tool, you want to crimp it down and tighten it and make sure it won't come loose. These terminal connectors have a heat shrinkable sleeve to make them waterproof, and I'm using a heat gun to shrink that sleeve. Now we can slip that terminal connector into position on the positive battery terminal and tighten it down. The reason we use the notch is because it can be difficult to get access to this battery terminal if you remove that bolt. Now strip the insulation off the green wire and install the other terminal connector. Now we don't want to reconnect the negative terminal to the battery just yet. First, we want to route the wires coming out of the left side of the isolator fuse box, kind of over toward the left side of the bike, up under all those connectors, and under that cross frame member. 
Now later on we'll use some wire ties to hold all these in place, but for now we just want to run the wires. You also want to run the yellow wire that comes out of the right side of the isolator fuse box to this same area, up through the left side of the bike and under that frame rail. Now we're ready to connect the accessory sub-harnesses to the bike's wiring harness. Locate the two saddlebag connectors under the seat. Here's the one for the right side of the bike, and over here is the one on the left side of the bike. They look identical. You can disconnect the connector by pressing on this small tab and then pulling toward the rear of the motorcycle. The forward half of the connector is held in place to the rear fender by using a small plastic stay. There's actually a little tab underneath, as you can see I'm pressing it here, and if you press on that little tab with your finger, you can pull that connector off of that stay, and it gives you a little better access. If you look at the underside of the connector, now you can see that little tab I was referring to. If you look at the right side accessory harness, you'll see there's a similar tab. It's designed just like the one from Honda. So you want to slip it over that little plastic stay in place of the one we just removed. Attach the connector coming from the rear of the bike to the accessory harness we just placed on the stay. Now we need to connect the other end of the accessory harness to the remaining connector on the bike's harness. Once connected, we now have a nice clean inline connection to the bike's wiring harness. And here you can see I've done the exact same thing on the left side of the motorcycle as we did on the right side. If we look at the accessory sub-harnesses without the protective shielding over the accessory wires, you'll notice that on the left side sub-harness there are two wires, a yellow and a blue. On the right hand sub-harness there are three wires, an orange, a brown, and a red. The next step is to connect these accessory wires to the corresponding wires coming from the isolation fuse block. These are the wires we ran toward the back of the bike and under the frame rail. To connect the wires coming from the accessory harnesses to the isolator fuse block wires, you can use these blue wire splices that come in your kit. If you choose to use the blue wire splices, Make sure that you do not trim off the ends of the accessory wires coming from the sub-harnesses and do not remove the protective rubber tips. Of course, you can use other types of wire splices. You could solder the wires or, like I'm doing here, I'm using butt connectors that have heat shrink shielding. I've always had better uh, experience with these butt connectors than I have with wire splices and that's why I chose to use these. Using these butt connectors does require trimming off uh, wire from both sets of wires and then crimping the butt connector to each side. Remember, you're connecting like colors, so yellow to yellow, blue to blue, red to red, and so on. And now I'm using a heat gun to shrink that heat shrink tubing on the butt connectors. This will give us a really good waterproof watertight connection and I'll put a link in the description to where you can get these uh, heat shrink butt connectors on Amazon. Use the cable ties that come in the kit to tie the wires together and bundle them in such a way that you can easily keep them out of the way. You can tuck the wires underneath the frame cross member so that they don't interfere with reinstallation of the seat. Make sure all connectors and wires are away from where the seat will contact the frame. Now we're ready to reconnect the negative battery terminal, making sure that the green wire terminal connector is in between the bolt and the terminal. Now you can reinstall the seat, making sure that all the wires and connectors are not going to interfere with installation of the seat. Then reconnect the heated seat connector and reinstall the left and right side covers. Okay, here's that special promo code we promised you. It's CRUISE10. Use that at checkout on BigBikePartsCom for a 10% discount on the isolation fuse block.